Hi, I'm Mark Resimius, and today I'm here with Marco Ironi, and he is the bass player here at Crossfire. And uh, today we're just going to talk a little bit about uh, his testimony. All right, so we should open up in prayer. And... All right, Heavenly Father, we come before you, Lord. We thank you for this time that we have together, Lord. And Lord, we just thank you for the many blessings that you put in each of our lives. And and Lord, we just ask that today uh, during our conversation, Lord, that um, it can touch a life, it can touch a couple lives, plant seeds, Lord, so you can water them. And Lord, we just thank you for this opportunity. We ask that it can glorify you and you alone, Lord. We just thank you. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. So, Marco, uh, could you just explain a little bit of how you came to know the Lord? Uh, it started off uh, quite a few years ago, probably 20 years ago now. I was running kind of on the the dark side of life. Uh, I was doing some things I wasn't supposed to, got in a little bit of trouble. And before that, I guess I should back up a second because when I was going through these and living that kind of life, uh, there was many times I asked the Lord to help me get out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, every day I asked him to help me. I couldn't do it myself. Right. Uh, so I prayed. Well, sometimes you got to watch what you pray for. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> before I know it, I'm I was gone for about 10 years out of society, did a little mm -hmm. bit of time. Uh, the first day I was locked up, um, I talked to my dad on the phone, he said, son, I think maybe you need to talk to somebody, you need to talk to a pastor or somebody and, okay. and get your life straight. Well, I thought about that a little bit and it just so happened they were bringing the book cart along and I seen this big old thick book on there that I thought would take my time up mm -hmm, yeah <laughs> and it looked pretty cool I had a hand on there with a chain well, I pulled the book off the thing and uh, started reading it was the Bible all right uh, so the Lord is kind of telling me through my dad and through the Bible well this Bible wasn't just any old Bible someone had already gone through it and uh, marked it up with the highlighters of all different colors so oh. I just started instead of reading the whole thing I just started reading the highlighter I thought wow this is this is incredible yeah. Well, after that, um, there was this Bible study group that I used to go to there, and then uh, it was on from there. I was, uh, I knew that's what I needed to do. The okay. Lord was calling me to, to straighten my life out, and uh, the whole time I was down, He was there helping me out. Amen, yeah. Not one time did He let me down. He took yeah. care of every need I ever had. Now, Marco, before any of that happened, like back in your childhood or even uh, teenage years, were you familiar with the Lord? Did you go to church or any of that? And yes, I was. My my mom, my whole family, we were brought up Catholic. Okay. And we went to church every weekend. Okay. Every Sunday we went to church. And I went to communion or did the, you know, the whole thing, the communion, the confirmation, the whole thing. Okay. Yes, I did know. So when did your, uh, so m many of you don't know, but uh, Marco is a professional bodybuilder. Yes. And uh, when did that career start? Uh, in, well, in... <clears throat> probably when I was, well, it started kind of when I was in wrestling. I was too small for the wrestling team. So, okay. Uh, I went and bought some weights uptown and hit them in the barn and started lifting weights and came back uh, ready to, you know, I put some weight on the wrestling coach. Uh, allowed me to try out for the team and I did that. Well, my neighbor had some weights and I had some weights, so we started lifting and got the Franco, Colombo and Arnold book and yeah. <laughs> we did the whole nine. And then we went down to the cities. I lived up north, went to the cities to watch a bodybuilding contest. And okay. after that, I was hooked into bodybuilding. Yeah, this you knew it right then there. <laughs> yeah, this is something I really want to do. Yeah, that's awesome, yeah. you know. Um, so, leading into your professional bodybuilding, um, explain how Maybe it's challenging in some areas to be a Christian and serve the Lord and also be around. I, I guess my assumption is there's a lot of pride in, in those buildings, you know, about being built and bulky and, and just kind of how you put that together, you know, serving the Lord and then also um, being in that profession. Well, they are very similar because the world, as we know, is full of people that don't believe. Yeah. And or they believe but don't live the way they should live right. in their lives, right? 
And bodybuilding, it's the same way. There's a lot of people that like to work out, mm -hmm. but in order to compete at the level I'm at, you have to be very, very disciplined. Mm -hmm. And to yeah, be a good yeah. Christian, you have to be a good, you have to be very disciplined. Mm -hmm. and that's how the similarities I see. Uh, very disciplined to, to walk in the, the way the Lord wants you to have a relationship with the Lord. Because uh, there's a lot of stuff, especially these days, going all mm. different directions. Yes. And it's easy for you to, to get sidetracked. Same with bodybuilding. Okay. A lot of people are not eating the right foods or doing this and doing that. Not getting to sleep, not going in regularly. Yeah. Yeah. So I, in talking about eating the food and being disciplined, I know that when you had talked to the youth group, I think it was last year at some point, and um, going through your, your eating regimen, I thought was pretty would be a very big challenge for me. Um, but uh, something like, I, I don't remember the exact number, but some amount, amount of eggs that you ate in the morning. Uh, well, usually I go through two whole cases of eggs a week, the ones that you get at Costco. So okay, so that depends on the morning if I have carbohydrates with that breakfast or not, I could eat up to 22 eggs in a morning. That is To get wild. enough protein that I need for that meal. Sure. Yes. And then that is it kind of like a schedule you follow or it's just you know you know that you have to do this every day to yeah I have to have so many carbohydrates so many proteins I eat every three hours on the hour mm -hmm. um, so not only do I have to eat I have to get the food I have to make the food <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yes and it kind of translates into being a Christian too in order to you know walk the your life with Christ yes. you need to get fed the word That's and you right. need to be disciplined yep. to be fed the word by doing it every day right. um, and sometimes that's really hard to do it's you know life takes its course and yeah. you know I know there's times even in my life where I'm like oh, I didn't read for the last two days because I've been so busy and I imagine if you kind of did that in in the food that you eat for bodybuilding mm -hmm. that might set you back yeah. and what you're trying to accomplish with that yes I see it as the word is the food Yes. If you're in it every day and keep your eyes on the Lord, Amen. it it keeps you more focused on the Lord and that way of life. Yeah. Having a relationship with the Lord. And it prepares you to walk through this world that right. is always trying to pick you up. It always is. Yeah. Yes, it is. And so uh, playing guitar, Marco, when did you start playing guitar? I, Well, I always wanted to learn how to play guitar and when I was locked up I had plenty of time to learn. So. Yeah. And they had guitars there in music, little music rooms, so I picked one up and went in the room and learned, taught myself how to play. So you never knew how to play before no. that? You just picked it up and... And one of the reasons I really want to learn how to play is they had a, 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 um, a choir down at the chapel. We had our own chapel there. Okay. And uh, I wanted to play for the Lord, so I really... First I joined the choir and I was practicing on the side and when there was an opportunity, I took it. Yeah. Uh, I really like playing for the Lord. I've played for bands before, but I do not like to do that. I, only, I pray for the Lord. I feel honored that the Lord lets me play. Amen. Yeah. yeah. So you've been a Crossfire now for a while, and what brought you to Crossfire or something? That was an interesting um, ordeal there. Uh, I was a member of another church in Moundsview, which was right by my house. When I moved, I, I was renting there. I bought a house in Coon Rapids, okay. and I was doing some remodeling on this house. And mounds you, I didn't really want to go that far. They actually disassembled the, the church choir. I don't know if there was a dispute with the the choir and the pastor, but mm -hmm. it whatever it, it is, it is. Um, so I quit going there, and I was looking for a church. I've been to a couple around here, but I was. Um, going by here every day at Home Depot, <laughs> every day. And uh, I was looking, um, that's a, that's kind of a cool name, you know, Crossfire Assembly. And uh, I should go in there, I should go in there. And then um, I was looking at the sign and thinking, well, you know, if I could eat my nine o'clock meal and still make it to church, I will go there. And I looked on the sign and it said 10 o'clock. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I said, okay, Lord, I will be there yeah. this Sunday. So sure. I ate my 9 o'clock meal like I always do. Yeah. And I went there and uh, went to the church here. And what I look in a church is, first of all, of course, that they go by the, the word of the Lord. 
it, that they don't change it one way or another. Right. And so I, I attended probably a couple weeks here and I seen that they did that. They went right by the pastor, went, Pastor Lynn went right by the word. It was right up on, on the wall. Mm. So uh, I thought this is a nice, this, I like this. I like that they don't, they don't miscure it. They don't, they miss, they don't turn it around. They yeah. don't. So th another thing is you guys had a nice band here, but uh, you didn't have a bass player. Yeah. <laughs> so I asked, they said, where's your bass player? Is he on vacation? What's going on? No, we're looking for a bass player. And then of course, Pastor Lynn, do you play bass? Well, I couldn't lie at that point. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to tell him yes, because yeah. I was still checking out the, you know, I was still checking out the church and see sure. if this is a, a good fit for me. I told him yes, so, and so he had Amy, his the choir director, his daughter, come talk to me and talk to me into bringing my bass in the next. She said, you could come try out, see if you like it, if you do. Mm -hmm. you know? And so I did, and well, I haven't missed, a, I don't think I've missed too many since yeah. then. Yeah. yeah, and I feel it's an honor to pray for the Lord, or play for the Lord, mm -hmm. and I think this is a, meant to be, I believe. Yeah, and I think everybody that is up on stage when they are playing the instruments, you know, they are pray, uh, playing for the Lord. They're not yes. doing it for glory or right. look at me or uh -huh. lights and all that mm -hmm. stuff. You know, right. it's it's to glorify the Lord yes, and is. praise and worship. And it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Um, so I just want to thank you so much for coming here. And is there anything else that you would like to share with uh, anybody before we go today? You know? I just think it's a blessing to be here. And I've always, you know, the way the way things are going in the world today, everybody's worried about this and that. Of course, you got to be. But Philippians four six really hits home to me. You know, be anxious for nothing, but trust in the Lord. You know, yeah. and bring everything to Him in prayer and supplications. And that has worked for me for the last fifteen twenty years. Amen. And uh, I guess if I could share anything, I guess that's what I would do. You know, not that you don't have to make decisions but i think if, if we just do more trusting the lord he will take care of us yes that's okay. very true well thank you marco yeah, thank for you for coming along me. and uh it's a blessing to be here thank looking you looking forward to seeing you tomorrow as you play bass yes i'll be here tomorrow all right and thank you very much for tuning in and hope to see you next time lord bless god bless